accurate blood pressure measurement is essential for safeguarding cardiovascular health. However, many individuals inadvertently make mistakes that compromise the reliability of their readings. In this video, we'll delve into seven common errors people make when measuring their blood pressure at home. The World Health Organization who offers specific guidelines for blood pressure measurement is recommended to use a blood pressure monitor that measures on the arm rather than the wrist. The cuff should be positioned a centimeters above the elbow to ensure the pressure aligns with the brachial artery. Note that the brachial artery is slightly towards the inside of the elbow, so ensure the cuff stubbing aligns correctly. Each time you measure your blood pressure, remove the cuff afterward. The ideal blood pressure reading is below 120 80ths of mmHg, with readings exceeding 120 80ths of mmHg considered high. However, certain characteristics and habits during blood pressure measurement can elevate readings, leading individuals or healthcare professionals to mistakenly perceive blood pressure as higher, potentially reaching 130 140 150 mmHg. There is the prevalence of undiagnosed high blood pressure, which poses a significant health risk, and, for individuals, with high blood pressure, appropriate medication can reduce the likelihood of future cardiovascular complications by up to 25%, making it a beneficial option. However, there are instances where even normal blood pressure readings may be misleading, leading to potential adverse outcomes. Taking unnecessary medication based solely on blood pressure readings can result in side effects that outweigh any potential benefits. Therefore, it's essential to consider other factors before prescribing medication solely based on blood pressure measurements. 1. One of the most common errors in blood pressure measurement is engaging in physical exercise or strenuous activities just before taking the reading. Physical exertion doesn't necessarily mean hitting the gym for a heavy lifting session or attending a soccer match. Even something as simple as climbing stairs or brisk walking before a blood pressure check can significantly alter the reading making it appear elevated. This misstep is prevalent among both patients and healthcare providers. In today's fast-paced world, where stress and rush are constant companions, it's often challenging for individuals, including doctors, to pause for a few minutes to relax before measuring blood pressure. Consequently, this haste often results in artificially high blood pressure readings, leading to unnecessary concerns and even medication prescriptions. It's essential to note that while physical exercise can transiently increase blood pressure, it doesn't imply that exercise or physical activity is harmful. In fact, the body's response to increased blood pressure during exercise is a healthy adaptation. Individuals who regularly exercise tend to have lower resting blood pressure levels compared to those who lead sedentary lifestyles, ultimately reaping numerous health benefits. The key isn't to obsess over achieving a perfect blood pressure reading of 120 80ths of mmHg all the time. Rather, the focus should be on maintaining consistently low blood pressure levels, particularly during periods of rest or sleep. This allows the heart, arteries, and veins to recuperate and function optimally. 2. Another common blunder is taking blood pressure readings while urinating or having a bowel movement, especially if you're doing it solo. During these moments, your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems kick into high gear, triggering a surge in overall body stress and blood vessel constriction. Consequently, blood pressure levels shoot up, skewing the accuracy of the reading. To ensure reliable measurements, it's crucial to empty your bladder before any medical examination. This simple step can prevent unnecessary spikes in blood pressure and ensure more accurate results. 3. Another crucial mistake to avoid is consuming caffeinated beverages before measuring blood pressure. Just a single cup of coffee, tea, or even a slightly sweetened energy drink can cause blood pressure to spike by 10 to 20 points. The effects of caffeine kick in roughly 20 to 30 minutes after consumption, sometimes even lingering for up to an hour. To ensure accurate readings and provide a clear picture of your health status, it's best to measure blood pressure on an empty stomach at least two hours after consuming any food or beverages. This precaution helps prevent the influence of psychotropic substances or ingested foods on blood pressure levels, ensuring a more accurate assessment during medical visits. 4. A potential fourth misstep involves another interplay between the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, which regulate blood vessel dilation and constriction. Depending on the circumstances, blood pressure may sharply decrease in one individual while rising in another, Regardless of the direction of change, such fluctuations can lead to misinterpretation by the doctor, potentially providing an inaccurate indication of the patient's true blood pressure status. 5. The fifth common blunder often arises during periods of stress. 
Engaging in activities like playing an intense video game, watching an emotionally charged movie, or even attending a high-stakes soccer match can elevate blood pressure by 10 to 20 points. When stress hits, adrenaline floods the system, causing blood vessels to constrict as the brain gears up for a perceived threat. This triggers the body's fight-or-flight response, heightening the blood pressure. Interestingly, even mundane actions like checking your phone, responding to emails, or succumbing to emotional turmoil can put into stress on the body, leading to a spike in blood pressure. Unfortunately, this can mislead doctors, who may mistake stress-related symptoms for cardiovascular issues, potentially prescribing unnecessary medication. Instead, activities like outdoor exercise, meditation, or other stress-reducing techniques may be more appropriate. Remedies for addressing elevated blood pressure caused by stress. 6. Let's dive into the intriguing sixth mistake, jumping to the conclusion of high blood pressure, when in reality, it might just be our last meal playing tricks on us. That hearty lunch or that tempting morning treat can send our blood pressure soaring, even hours after we've finished eating. So, before pointing fingers at hypertension, let's consider the influence of our recent culinary adventures they might hold the key to those unexpected blood pressure readings. Now, let's explore some of the most common culprits behind hypertension. It's wise to opt for a light meal or a snack before heading to the doctor's office. 7. Let's uncover the intriguing seventh mistake in blood pressure measurement the influence of our surroundings and actions on those crucial readings. It's not just about the cuff and monitor small tweaks in our posture and environment can skew the results. Imagine this, chatting away with your doctor while they're trying to measure your blood pressure. Or worse, crossing your legs or letting your arms dangle during the reading. Even the room temperature, often overlooked, can play a significant role in blood pressure fluctuations. Did you know that blood pressure tends to rise in colder temperatures as the arteries constrict? So. Next time you're getting your blood pressure checked, ensure your arms are at heart level, avoid crossing your legs, and maintain a comfortable room temperature around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit for accurate readings. It's all about getting the details right when it comes to measuring blood pressure. We touched on earlier how easy it is to misinterpret signals and assume we have high blood pressure. This highlights the importance of taking multiple measurements throughout the day and over several weeks. However, even with multiple readings, if they're consistently taken incorrectly, they could lead to unnecessary medication prescriptions. Instead of relying solely on medication, there are healthier ways to manage blood pressure, such as adopting a balanced diet and regular exercise routine. If you're curious about the best diet to lower blood pressure without resorting to medication, check out my video on the topic. Remember, hypertension isn't a standalone disease but rather a symptom signaling that certain aspects of your lifestyle may need adjustment. Ignoring the problem or solely relying on medication isn't the ideal approach. It's crucial to delve into the underlying causes, evaluate your behaviors comprehensively, and focus on cultivating healthier habits for long-term well-being. If you're already on medication for high blood pressure, I'd love to hear about your doctor's recommendations and whether they've suggested alternative interventions. Let's prioritize healthier habits over reliance on medication. By avoiding these common mistakes and following proper measurement techniques, you can obtain more accurate blood pressure readings and better monitor your cardiovascular health. Remember to consult with your healthcare provider if you have any concerns about your blood pressure or the accuracy of your measurements. Just a friendly reminder, this video is intended for educational purposes only. If you have any concerns about your health, always consult your healthcare provider. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing this valuable information with your loved ones. To stay informed about health, and well-being. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest content. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth, and happiness with the key to vitality in your hands.